After an entire school year's worth of AP Physics and being away from video games for an extended period of time, I asked myself, like every other human being, does Minecraft have physics? Yes, science! So I spent two dreading hours of my life creating and designing three physics scenarios including kinematics, dynamics, energy, and momentum. I won't lie, finding three examples of physics was hard since 70% of the units I learned was impossible to replicate thanks to Minecraft not having any circles, but regardless, here are the three examples of physics that I was somewhat able to replicate inside of Minecraft, and now we'll see if physics in Minecraft obey the natural laws of physics. Before this video starts, there are just a few things I want to clarify for the experiments. I'll be assuming that the gravity constant in game is the same as Earth since... And as a point of reference, a block in game has dimensions roughly equal to 1 meter by 1 meter by 1 meter. For all these experiments, assume that there are no non-conservative forces acting on the objects. Okay, now let's get back to it. Alright, starting off, we have a minecart on this huge ramp. Our only goal is for the cart to jump the second tiny ramp onto the preceding track, and hopefully, it'll make the jump. Okay, I'll try to be quick with the physics. We can apply conservation of energy to say that UG is equal to KE. The mass of the cart can be cancelled, and we find that the velocity of the cart as it is launched off the second ramp is 23 meters per second. We can find how far it jumps with kinematics, and we find that the cart will jump a distance of 54 meters. So maybe it won't have a soft landing, but at least it'll make the jump. Right? Let's find out. For a second experiment, we have this 27,125 kilogram anvil, and if you want to check my mental math, right below it are a group of turtle eggs from this turtle who is very nice enough to volunteer their children. On average, eggs can withstand 25 newtons of force, and using Newton's second law, we find that the anvil exerts 265,825 newtons of force on the eggs. So, the eggs probably aren't going to survive the experiment, but I'm willing to do all this in the name of science. Okay, finally for our last experiment, we have two identical carts where one is hooked to a launcher and the other is in static equilibrium. Using conservation of momentum, we find that the instant the second cart is hit, it carries over the velocity of the first cart. Praying to the Minecraft gods that this collision is elastic, theoretically this should be enough momentum for the second cart to reach the end of the track. I'm losing all hope for this game, so if this doesn't work, I'm just gonna uninstall. It, it actually reached the end. It actually reached the end. I'm, I'm actually, why am I actually kind of surprised? So there we have it. Only one third of our experiments was an actual success. While it's clear that Minecraft carries over certain properties of physics in real life, it's evident that physics in Minecraft doesn't make any sense in a mathematical standpoint. Hopefully this video was enough to convince my physics teacher that I did learn something, and hopefully you, the viewer, learned that physics in Minecraft doesn't exist. Hi, I just want to include this part in, um, so yeah, it's me that edited. Uh, yep, uh, I'm sorry if I sound tired, I mean, it is 2am in the morning. The reason for that being is that this entire project got corrupted midway through editing, so I had to pretty much rush it from the beginning, and yeah, I probably could have done better, but I, but I couldn't.